Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Jones. Today we've got part two of the Bug 3 Pro for my final review and also to test out the video quality. Thanks for watching. Hi, welcome back. So today we've got the final part of my review for the Bugs 3 Pro. So it's the second part. So I've now had a chance to fly this a few times, give it a good test out, test the battery life on it and tell you my overall impression. So, to fly, I'd give this to a beginner straight away to have a go with because it's very, very stable, very, very smooth and so easy to fly. It flies differently than the Bugs 5W, which I expected it to, but maybe not as different. To me, it feels a totally different thing to fly. It's extremely smooth and extremely stable. Uh, at the end of this video, I'm going to put some um, footage on there of me flying it. So you're going to get footage from the camera. You'll also get footage from the app so you can see what the app looks like and also I filmed it with my GoPro so you can see how stable it is in the air and how nice it was. It was probably a four to five mile an hour wind when I flew it this morning. It's a, it was a very very dull day, it's actually started raining when I was flying it just spitting but so you're going to have to forgive the camera a little bit. So the camera is the weak point of the drone. So you can buy this in three different editions kind of thing. You can buy the drone on its own with the controller and the battery, everything but the camera and this mount or you can buy it with a 720 camera or the 1080 camera so if you buy it without a camera you do I believe you don't get this mount for your phone I think I'm right in saying that I haven't got that one but and I know you don't get this bit or this bit I still say go for the one without the camera the camera you'll see on the video itself oh, it's a dull day but I have tried the camera on its own in my hand walking around with it before testing it and it's not the best camera in the world. Um, I think the, bug, the camera on the Bugs 5, to me, looks slightly better, I don't know. In the next couple of weeks, I hope to get both of them in the air, hover them both, or fly them both around, get them to about 50, 60 foot, and I'll do some video footage and yaw them both at the same time so we can see what the difference is. But I think the footage on the 5W, from memory anyway, and a quick look I've had on my computer, seems to be better. I'm not saying this isn't a good drone, it is a very nice drone indeed. I like it a lot. It's nothing like to fly the bugs. If you've got a bug three, this does not fly anything like the same. This has got, although it's got bigger motors, it's not got anywhere near as much power. This is very much a camera drone, and it's very much gone for precise flying because it is precise. You can hold it. it it's smooth. It's silky smooth to fly. It flies far better than a drone that costs as much. That costs the money it does. I think the cam, the, the version without the camera is about 110 pounds. Maybe even get it a little less than that if you shop around now. Uh, this version, I think, is one. I think I paid one forty-five for it. Um, I don't think it's worth the money for the camera. Uh, I, I love the drone, but the camera isn't worth it. Flight time. It was put. I stayed. I got about fifteen minutes. The return to home was really, really accurate. On the video, you see, it's the return to home I used bringing it back. It's very accurate. It's, as ac it's not as accurate as the five W. I'll say that much. I know that already. In this, I've tested it about seven, eight times. The 5W in five or six tests I did, we see it landed on the map four of the six. I think it was six, yeah, I think it was four of the six, and this only it didn't hit the map once in six times. So, but it was close. I, I'm not again saying there's a problem there. I think that it's not the same. It's a different beast to the five. It could have been made by someone totally different. When you fly it, you'll be able to tell. The controller is exactly the same. Feels really nice in your hand. I love this controller. I think the controller is one of the massive selling points for this on the drone for me. So, yeah, the controller and the, the quad itself, I think, are a great buy. I definitely go for that combo without the camera. You'll see, you see for yourself when you watch the video. Um, but I, I believe that that would be the best option. And certainly for me, if I was to buy it again, I wouldn't be buying the version with this camera. I think the camera lacks. I haven't tried it with a GoPro. I intend to try it with a GoPro on the front of it because you can put a GoPro in this mount, and then I will post another video because I think it'll look a lot better. You've still got this obviously issue, it's got some jello because I think these are too loose. So what I might try and do is put a GoPro in and, put, and tighten these up slightly. Try and make it a bit... I've actually got loads of these from different other gimbals, I might try changing them. But yes, I think with, with, with another camera on it'd be far better. So, thanks very much for watching. Please watch a video that's coming up. So the first video you're going to watch lasts about a minute minute and a half and it's purely the footage taken from the app it's not in sync with the next two it was filmed at a different time the next two are in sync so you're going to see picture in picture of you'll see it flying and the picture in picture will be of me 
filming it with the GoPro at the same time so you see how stable it was and what the image looks like on your screen compared to what the drone was doing at the time. So have a fantastic day and thanks very much for watching. Thanks very much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, if you do please hit the like button and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching.